Okay, Game Passes, a really clever way of earning money in your Roblox games. And I'm going to show you how to use the Game Pass service. So when it comes to Game Passes, there's two things really that you need to do. Firstly, you need to be able to prompt a user to purchase a Game Pass if they're in the game. And then the second part is actually granting the perks that the player gets as a result of purchasing a game pass now there's loads of game passes out there i won't be able to cover them all in this video but i'm going to try and give you a quick run through of how you can detect whether a player owns a pass and how to also prompt them to purchase the pass so first things first you're obviously going to need to set up a game pass i'm not going to show you how to do that in this video but let's assume you have a game pass id so what you want to do is you want to firstly insert a local script in the starter gui or you just put this code anywhere on the client where it's going to run. And let's firstly create a variable for the game pass service. So game get service, game pass service, like this, okay? And to prompt a game pass, uh, well, actually, 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 uh, what we also have is the marketplace service, okay? So we'll say game get service, marketplace service. And we also have, like I just typed out there, the Game Pass service. So what is the difference between these two, right? We have a Game Pass service and a Marketplace service. Well, we use the Marketplace service to prompt a Game Pass purchase. So Marketplace service, colon, prompt Game Pass purchase, you'll pass the player. So in this case, it's local player because it's running on the client. And then you'll pass the Game Pass ID. Now, you can just write your ID in here. Now, for this example, this is a VIP Game Pass. And what you'll notice is when you join the game, we will get prompted to purchase this Game Pass. Now, I already own it, so I can't buy it again. But if you put this code anywhere on a client local script, it will prompt the user to purchase the Game Pass. Okay, so they've bought the Game Pass. Now, how do we grant them their benefits? So we will do the granting of benefits on the server because we don't want any exploiters to get in the way and potentially change things. So again, we're going to create a variable for the marketplace service. And actually, all of this is now done with marketplace service. It used to be Game Pass service, but it's been deprecated, so you shouldn't use it anymore. To check if a user owns a Game Pass, you say marketplace service, colon, a player, sorry, user owns Game Pass async, like this. You then pass the user ID and the Game Pass ID. So we need to get the user ID. So normally this code would be put in a event, usually a player added event to check if a player owns a pass when they join. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll replace user ID with player.user ID and we'll replace the Game Pass ID as well. And this will return a true or false value as to whether the player owns the pass. So I'm going to store this as a variable, and then I'll say if player owns VIP, then. And here is where we can grant the player's benefits. So in this case, I'm just going to print out player owns VIP. And if you click on play, you will see that it prints out when I join the game. Now here you could do anything. You could insert a character added event within this player added and then you could check if the player owns the pass every time they respawn through that event and then you could insert a tag above their head. Uh, or you could do, you could give them some currency, I don't know, right? Uh, you probably want to, wouldn't want to give them currency because then they could keep rejoining but you get the idea. That's how a typical VIP pass would work. Let's say they bought a pass that gives them double speed, okay? So we'll do that character added event. So added connect function, and we'll get an argument for their character. And now we can do things to their character, such as change their walk speed. So we'll say if player owns VIP, then car.humanoid.walkspeed equals 100. And let's go and test this out. We put the code in a character added loop because then it will um, run every time the player respawns and when their character loads because obviously we're changing their, their walk speed which is a property of the humanoid which is in their character. 
and really when you have this character added your possibilities are widened because you could do things such as giving extra health extra walk speed um, you can alter the character in so many different ways and every time they respawn it's going to repeat it's going to do it to their character again so that is how to do a typical game pass check and this local script code as well you could just put this in a simple mouse button one click event to make a button to prompt them you could prompt them at certain uh, intervals during the game uh, the possibilities are really yours to do whatever you like so i hope this has been helpful if it has uh, please like subscribe let me know any more videos you'd like to see and i'll see you in the next one